brief demonstration to illustrate how to do the calibration of the sound level meter for a particular transducer. In this case we have our artificial ear which is fitted with a BNK4134 uh, microphone, pressure microphone uh, which requires a 200 volt polarizing voltage. So on our ACM8, ACM800 we select the 200 volts and um, that should then come up slowly. It will take possibly a few minutes, maximum three minutes to stabilize. In the meantime we'll get the rest ready. Our sound level meter we have just turned on will show you this display which is the live menu. And what we want to do is we want to go into the calibrate menu. So we press the tools button over here and we navigate to the calibrate icon and select it by pressing enter. We're now on the calibrate menu with the calibrate highlighted but we want to make sure we have the right calibrator for the job and we have a CA250 which is 114 dB 250 hertz calibrator that was specially selected because of the requirement for the IEC uh, 711 coupler which should only be calibrated at 250 and therefore we've um, settled for a 250 hertz calibrator instead of 1 kilohertz for all the transducers. So what we do now is we have a look at our menu over here and we see that yes the correct calibrator is selected. If you did want to select the other one you merely press enter and then the ACM 800 bone reference which is an electrical signal would have been selected. Let's go back and select the one we actually want which is there. Alright now that we've selected that particular calibrator calibration source we navigate back to the calibrate button and we turn on our calibration source place it gently over the microphone and press enter to start the calibration. It is a self-adjusting system it will look at the difference from the previous transducer that was placed which was 18 decibels. Uh, you should answer save results yes may sometimes complain that the value displayed is outside the normal range but in that case just say yes and accept the results anyway because the system is sensitive to changes and it's just one of the functionalities of the sound level meter. If of course you have 20 or 30 or 40 dB uh, differences then you should be worried you perhaps have a connection problem somewhere. Alright so the calibration is complete uh, we can now just check, close that menu, we close that and we now go back to our live menu. Please note the instrument has several screen as you can see as I scroll down we we'll go through six screens and this particular one is the third octave one, that one is the octave one that you would probably use for your soundproof booth calibration. This one is your one for the this particular point. We put our 250 hertz on. This also illustrates how you would navigate your cursor to the 250 hertz point. And there you are, voila, 114 dB exactly at 250 hertz. LZ flat, meaning Z is sorry, LZ fast. Z being the Z weighting which is flat. Always ensure your instrument is in the Z weighting on all functionality for audiometer calibrations. And that's the pretty much uh, the end of it. You can also see on the ACM 200, 800 is your 251 hertz. Of course, there's a tolerance on here, but that's the 250 hertz calibration source frequency. On your audiometer, that would be 125, uh, 250 hertz, 500, 1000. 1500 etc uh, frequency. Okay, that's the end of that part of the demonstration. Thank you.